Orly the Baker here. I am so excited because today I'm going to be showing you how to make gluten-free boiled New York style bagels. This one is really easy and you will be amazed at how chewy and crispy and delicious this bagel is. We start here with one teaspoon of dry yeast. On top of which we have one and a half cups plus two tablespoons of lukewarm water. So we're just going to pour that right on top of the yeast. And we're going to let that sit for about five minutes just to let the yeast activate with the warm water. Now after five minutes, we're going to add one teaspoon of oil and one teaspoon of vinegar. You can also use apple cider vinegar. We're just going to pour that on top of the yeast and the water. So I have measured out here two tablespoons of brown sugar and four tablespoons of white sugar. And here I have measured out three cups of blends by Orly Manhattan blend, one tablespoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder. And we're going to combine the sugar and our dry ingredients in this bowl and dump the contents of the dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. So we had our dough mixing on medium speed for about two minutes and then we increased it to high speed for another two minutes um, and we mixed it until it all came together. Now we're going to dump it onto our table. I've covered our table with some Manhattan blend to be able to roll it out um, so that it doesn't stick to the table. So as you can see, it's, it's stretchy. It's not going to be as stretchy as regular glutinous dough, but it's stretchy enough that we're going to be able to work with it. It will still be sticky, but it won't be super wet like a batter. It's more so I have weighed these out into eight equally sized balls. And I used my baking scale because I want it to be really precise to make sure that they all weigh the same amount so that they can all be the same size. So now that I have eight equally sized balls, I'm going to hand roll each of them into a bagel. We're going to roll this into a ball. Once we have our ball, we're going to roll it into a rope. Starting with one hand and then using your second hand to stretch it out. So start at the middle and roll out. And if you find that your dough starts sticking to your table, just add a little bit more flour. And now we're gonna tie the ends together. So we're gonna connect the ends like so. Use our three middle fingers to turn it on its front and roll it underneath. And it sticks together really nicely. Now before I put these in the oven to proof, I'm gonna water wash them. So this moisture will prevent our dough from drying out when it's proofing. And when I say proofing, I mean rising in warm temperatures. I'll set my oven to a warming mode. If you don't have a warming mode, you can set your oven to the lowest degree that it goes to, and you can just leave the door slightly ajar. I've set my oven to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna let them sit in here for 30 to 45 minutes. And you can see that they've definitely about doubled in size since we've put them in. They look nice and full, and when you touch them, they sort of spring back and are very soft. So now we have some um, hot water boiling on the stove. We've put about one teaspoon of honey in the water, and that'll give our bagels a little bit more of a brown crust. So we're going to take each bagel and just drop it in the water. We're going to do three at a time so that we don't crowd the pot. And what we do is we boil the bagels on each side for about 30 seconds. When you bite into a bagel, it's really soft on the inside and chewy on the outside. That chewiness is because of the boiled bagel. And you can see the bagels are floating, so they're really easy to turn over. And just use your spatula to strain the water and place it back on your tray. So look at our beautiful boiled bagels. Aren't they gorgeous? And if we want to top them with any sorts of seeds, like sesame seeds, we can either just take the bagel and stick it in the seeds like that. Or you could just use your fingers to sprinkle it on. Either way, it sticks. So now we're going to put these in the oven. It's 
ta-da! We've just taken our New York boiled bagels out of the oven. They were baking at 375 degrees Fahrenheit in my oven for um, about 35 minutes. Look how beautiful our bagels look. The whole family will love them. Thanks for watching.